In this video, we're going to see cymatic healing generators. And of course, these are from the so-called cathedrals, churches, temples, which are not for religious purposes. And these windows, which is exactly the same stuff that we see today in computer engineering uh, when we do like uh, stuff on 3D design in the software of computer. So you have the church windows, which are the ones that we see in churches. And then we have the uh, top-down view of our DNA, which is also very important because according to the studies, if you go with a, an electronic microscope or something that can allow you to see the DNA, it's the same principle and DNA vibrates. And then you have the cymatic frequencies, which is the stuff that we've seen so many times when they do it uh, in 3D uh, software or like uh, even in with hardware, where like in the real world when like they make to vibrate uh, water or powder or something. I'm sure you've seen it several times, or with music as well, frequencies, the so same stuff. Um, you have to be blind not to um, be able to see it. It's just, it's there. And of course, the the glass was added afterwards just to stop the buildings from actually using their purpose. Uh, it was no glass before because there was no winters uh, before. Uh, climate change afterwards as well in the world. So this was used according to the so-called knowledge, uh, this vibration and this energy. I mean, there's a reason why these were made so beautifully symmetrical and perfect, because that vibration would keep humanity um, um, healthy, so no illness. Um, and the thing is, you go to any country in the world, even the countries that have nothing in common with English or like with uh, languages that use the alphabet, and it's the same principle. And this principle is the same principle as the one that Mercury has. We, If you read a bit, if you study about Mercury, you're going to see Mercury uh, as an element, as a liquid metal, is the one that is actually using the energy uh, and the energy travels as a vortex through Mercury, and that's the secret of so-called of badly called ufos or like the alien technology which is it is alien if it comes outside of the crater but not in the sense that you've in, been indoctrinated so mercury as a liquid metal is very important it's linked to the electromagnetism and the ether and the electromagnetic vortex and the free energy and also the well-being of uh, all living beings and all this was destroyed in what so many people online they falsely claim as being tartaria because that's a whole point in itself um, many youtubers and many like researchers and stuff they don't care about actually stating that it's not tartaria it's like tartaria is just a tiny part of the whole thing that previous humanity with that we see in the world which uh, uses the, these Roman type clothings um, in the statues and what we see in the expos in America and Russia and all that stuff. That was the previous humanity. It was not called Tartaria. The thing with Tartaria is more like propaganda from both the Russian and American side uh, of things and researchers. So you have to dig deeper than that. And these buildings are everywhere. And they were everywhere because many of them were destroyed, demolished. Uh, and also many of them have like these red bricks. And I've shown you before in a previous video that there's like universities in the world researching the stuff saying that red bricks buildings are actually storage of energy. So they can store energy with them. And this is like what we see as cymatic frequencies when you use um, like um, waves or music or powder or water or uh, 3D software or whatever. So yeah, it's it's there. It's just, you know, after seeing these pictures and after I'm hoping that it makes sense to you. And if it doesn't make sense, well, it's because you just don't want to see it. It's because um, it's too difficult for many people to accept that these buildings all across the world in all nations that have nothing in common, uh, nations of today, because that's the reason I said before, there were other nations. Uh, actually, there were no nations. There was only one nation, one kingdom. And then that's why we as a humanity are so young. And we're probably like 200 years old. And that's the, ca the case for Chinese and Japanese and Arabians and Europeans and Africans and all that stuff. So the modern nations were just um, so, so young. Um, and that's too difficult because people don't accept that we're just genetic experiments and that, that it was a reset and everything went uh, bad and, you know, stuff like that. And there was wars and, ex and the whole system was exploited and everything else. And the continents uh, became like uh, drowned under, under the sea in the ocean. There was bombings and stuff. And that's where desert, deserts come from. It's so easy once you see the whole thing. And also it's very easy to understand that why controllers would ban this energy because, you know, it allows a human being to be free. So next time you see whatever is left of these buildings or like you see archives, then you're going to understand why. And also you're going to understand why we have this today. Like the modern um, speakers, right? Uh, they come from this. There's a reason why they look so similar. 
it's just uh, and there's a reason why they're also using magnets as well so yeah uh, what can i say uh, once you understand all this life changes quite a lot and intellectually speaking your mind opens to levels that you've never before uh, could have imagined and also you understand again that churches and temples and cathedrals and mosques and all that stuff they're not religious they're just um, they were power stations and now we're using the cross as a symbol of christianity well the cross was just a, an antenna and that's it it's too much i know for the big majority of humanity it's too much but that's what it is so if you don't like it it's not my fault i'll see you guys in the next video